Before this video starts, I just wanted to quickly say if you haven't watched last week's video, I recommend you do because everything I do in this video is kind of following on from the work I did in that video, so it will all make a lot more sense. And but in case you didn't, I'll just quickly mention that I started working on this model greenhouse. Um, I also did a lot of art and it's quite a good video, so I recommend you watch it if you haven't. And I carry on making the greenhouse in this video along with other arty bits and bobs as well. Enjoy! <laughs> Hello, this morning I have been cutting up little bits of wood to make into floor panels. <laughs> I've been using these little sticks that I bought and cutting them all up to fit this the floor section of the greenhouse. Uh, I, I did all this over the weekend but didn't film any of it. I painted absolutely everything that's going on the inside so just little things like uh, painting these little pots. You know they're just made out of cardboard but I painted them to kind of make them look, well I'm hoping they look like terracotta pots. Adding grubbiness to stuff and making it look like wood and just making everything look a bit used. I went and I painted all my leaves as well. Things like that aren't even noticeable but I did anyway. <laughs> like I just added a, like, a slight pink bit of paint onto the flowers and I've kind of highlighted all the leaves a little bit. I don't know if you can even tell. Uh, this was originally empty but I thought I'd put some little tufts of grass in there. And then what I did was I used the inside of tea bags mixed with a bit of glue and I put that inside all the pots to hopefully make it look like dirt and I think that's turned out really good. I mean everything smells a little bit like tea but <laughs> I'm hoping the smell will kind of fade as time goes on. So my next step is to sand all the edges because they're a bit wonky and to glue it all down and paint it as well to make it look a bit more um, old and you know weathered. These little bits have like were just flying all over my room. Half the time when I cut something it would just go boo and it would just fly off somewhere. They're all over my carpet at the moment. There's one there, some over there. There's loads behind my desk. I'm gonna have to go under there and find them all. Yeah, so that's my task for today. I've also got some online lessons as well which I'm gonna listen to in between the greenhouse stuff. Okay, let's go. Hello, voiceovers here for a bit now. I am quite far ahead in the future than this, well, I guess what you're seeing now is in the past because I, I can't travel through time. But um, yeah, this is all about from two weeks ago, maybe a little bit longer. So it's, I can't quite remember exactly everything that's in this video. <laughs> Um, as I'm doing this voiceover, I'm going to have some surprises later on for, for what to talk about. Quite a bit of time has passed and I'm back at uni now. You see me moving to uni a little bit at the end of this video. But yeah, I've done a lot since then. This greenhouse seems like a, a lifetime ago now. I've had a whole project, I made a final piece, I went to York for the weekend, did a dance competition, came back, got a new project. But yeah, in this video I get really close to finishing the greenhouse and I really wanted it finished, finished for this video. Um, but to be honest, I ran out of time and I ran out of glue. So my dreams of finishing it in this video um, didn't really happen but I got really, really close. I basically made everything. All I needed to do was put the two halves together of like the inside and the outside. Um, but that'll be something I return to in the summer. Uh, so I guess I've got that to look forward to. finished the floor and I have to say I am pleased with it. I'm really happy with this. Now I get to do what I'm absolutely buzzing to do. This is I think the best step of the whole thing and it's taking all the little things that I've made and gluing them all together and decorating the inside. So I get to put on my little plant pots on my shelves and just figure out the floor plan of the room. Um, but I'm very excited to glue everything and I'll have just like a little miniature room um, and then all I have to do is build the, the greenhouse to go over it. I mean I say all I have to do it's gonna be a big job but you know I'm getting close I can the the, the the finish line I can see it it's in the distance it's blurry and it's hazy and it's small but it's there and at least I can see it <laughs> right
this idea in my head for about a week now and it's, I literally picture it so many times throughout the day and I just need to draw it. It's like loads of vegetables all kind of smushed together and they're all sort of interacting and there's just so much going on and they've all got faces and they're all kind of chatting to each other. Yeah, this idea stemmed originally from these two paintings that I did in last week's video. I've really gotten into a vegetable mood lately. <laughs> really like these cute little faces and I want to do it in gouache very similar to this style with all the kind of texture. Um, so I'm just sketching it out, get a feel for what it could look like. This is very very rough but I thought I would just chat to you whilst I do a bit of sketching because I've got some stuff to say. I'm trying to just be a little bit uh, more forgiving with my sketchbook because I used to, let me just, what am I actually going to draw? Let me figure this out first. I'll draw a broccoli <laughs> because my old sketchbook, I never actually used to sketch in which is bad. I would just kind of always do sort of finished pieces like this without ever really doing this. I didn't want there to be like this in the sketchbook which is silly because like that's literally what it's called it is a sketchbook so why not sketching it um and i think that's kind of why i fell out of love with that sketchbook like uh, in the beginning i was like really passionate about it i really wanted to fill up all the pages it just took me so long to fill up the pages because each page basically had like a finished piece on it and i don't know i just think because i was putting so much time into the pages i became really precious about it like i was scared to do art in it in case i made a page which was ugly but i, I don't really want to think like that anymore like i wrote specifically in the front of the sketchbook um don't dwell, don't dwell too long have fun not each page will be beautiful remember to sketch and play so this is a reminder to me because I like to overthink and want every page to look amazing. So I need to remind myself, nope, you can have pages just filled with sketches and you know, the sketches don't even have to be good. They can be rubbish, but at least you're drawing um, and you're kind of coming up with ideas. I would like to maybe do a sketchbook tour of the, the one I was talking about, the one which I kind of fell out of love with, because even though I, it's it's so old now, some of the art in it is like over a year old, I, I don't really feel like it reflects my art style anymore, and um, so I don't really want to show it, but then again, I think it's kind of good to show the journey, and there are some things in there which I like, so maybe I will do a sketchbook tour. I mean, I filled up a lot of it, um, and if it was kind of like a normal size sketchbook, I would probably be complete by now. It's just because it was so thick. It was probably the same thickness as this one, which is chunky. Um, so I might do a sketchbook tour of that. We'll see. But yeah, that's just what I've been thinking about lately. I, I really want to paint this um, idea that I have of the vegetable patch. I want to do it hopefully before university properly starts back next week. But it all depends on how much of the greenhouse I get done because I don't want two big projects kind of overlapping. Moving on to Wednesday now, I just wanted to do a little bit of collaging because it's obviously been a very greenhouse heavy few days and well I was wary that I wanted a bit of art to be in this video so it just wasn't all greenhouse um, and also I just wanted to do it for myself because sometimes I get the, like an art itch and I just need to make some art to get it out of my system. Um, I, I've been wanting to do a bit of collage anyway because I just enjoy doing it. Oh yeah, let me know what you think about uh, like a sketchbook tour, like I said it's of the one I was talking about, the one that I'm not too keen on anymore, um, but like I said, uh, there are some things in there which I still like and obviously it's nice to kind of see the journey, I suppose, of where my art was and where it is now. So yeah, let me know if you want a sketchbook tour of that because that's quite a quite a quick and easy video to make if you want it. I don't actually get round to doing that vegetable idea which I had in my head and I still haven't managed to do it. I think, yet again, like all my things I want to do is gonna have to wait till summer. That's just like a go-to phrase now because you just can't really do much personal work when uni is happening because it's just so full on with work. So I just feel like I have so many ideas and so many things I want to do and it just has to take a back seat when uni comes around. And sometimes, I, I, I know um, probably everyone feels like this, well, especially people who do art, but sometimes I just think that uni gets a bit in the way. And obviously uni is very important and I want to do really well in it, but there are times where I'm like, oh, can uni just like calm down and stop for a few weeks so I can do my own projects and draw what I want to draw. But I'm sure like loads of people feel like that. 
yeah, so my vegetable drawing idea, uh, my vegetable little patch idea will have to wait a little bit longer. I, I will get around to it eventually because I do really like the idea. But yeah, back to this collage. I'm just cutting things out, sticking them down. <laughs> That's how it works. I do really, 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 really want to make a video about my collage process and I will get around to it again, probably in summer. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to make a really detailed kind of, I don't know, tutorial maybe I suppose, of how I do collages because I get asked a lot of questions and um, because I get asked this a lot, I will just say it now, all the paper is printer paper and I paint it all myself using acrylic paint. It's nothing fancy, just plain old pretty cheap printer paper and some acrylic paint that I, I paint them all in big chunks of pieces of paper, like 20 sheets at a time, just loads and loads of colours and then that lasts me ages. But yeah, I will do a full in-depth tutorial at some point. It's just probably going to be a little while because of university, um, but I will get around to it. But I have finished with my online talks for the day for university and I think I've finished with this. I did this through one of the talks. I might add a few extra shapes, I'm not quite sure, but this is what it's looking like at the moment. My desk is a bit of a mess, but I can deal with that later on. Um, yeah, but I need to go to the post office now because I've got some letters to take. I have one here, but I can't take that yet because I need the postage label. These are all ready to go. Um, it's a really nice bright day actually outside, so I'm excited to get some fresh air and get going for the day. I also want to say um, a big thank you because I've get been getting some pretty consistent Etsy orders lately, um, so thank you very much. It's been nice. Oh, and just in case you don't know and you're new here, I have an Etsy shop where I sell prints like this and I don't have any other examples in my room. Um, I'll show you the drawer. I mean, my shop's very, very low at the moment because it, to be honest, I need to restock and do a shop update, but it's just hard with uni. But I sell lots of nice prints. If you're into mushrooms, I got a lot of mushrooms. If you're into um, nice collaged landscapes, I do them as well. Uh, there's just lots of them there. So um, if you're interested in some, some nice art for your walls, then um, give it a look, okay. Um, there's my little promotional talk over. So let's go to the post office. walls of the greenhouse there's just a, a back wall uh, right at the back but then the rest of it is all kind of glass and the original pieces of wood that the kit came with are just like smooth pieces of wood that you're just supposed to like paint white um but that doesn't quite cut it for me what i did was i got um i can't quite remember what it's called i think is it like filler like this scrapey stuff that you put in holes to fill cracks in the walls well i got that from the garage um, and with my dad's help he like showed me how to like mix the right amount and then i scraped it all on these bits of wood leaving like gaps and holes and then i went in and i painted it to try and look hopefully like cracked plaster so you can see the brick wall underneath and then I added a nice bit of nice bit of mold <laughs> to the holes and a bit of greenery to make it look nice and old because that's what everything that's the aesthetic I'm going for for this greenhouse I want everything to look old and worn down and grubby um, and I think the walls turned out really nice I was dead proud of them and um, whilst I was doing them I was a bit like mm, these look a bit questionable but then once they were like in position with like especially once I put like the green on them I was like oh yeah this is this is coming to life um, and then what I also did was cut down my little coffee stirring sticks and make a door in the kit they just give you a piece of paper with a door printed on it not good enough for me thank you I made my own door out of these little sticks and um, painted it to look again um, grubby and old and I also sanded it and like sanded little holes um, in the wood as well um, I also mixed a lot of coffee curry co coffee curry coffee stirring sticks to make the frame but which you'll see me do in just a second okay so I'm gonna update you with everything that I've done because I've done a lot and haven't filmed it so first off I think I showed a little bit of this being put together um, but what really all I've done is glued this back panel in 
um, but I've glued nothing else because I'm going to take it apart so I can glue these bits on. Now in the actual kit you just leave it like this, like these black lines, uh, you leave them visible but I, I'm not too keen on the way that looks so I have cut all these little bits of sticks um, to be slightly thinner which took me ages, painted them all and I'm going to line them all up to cover up the black lines. Um, I'm going to do that on both sides of the plastic. Um, I painted all these, these bits go kind of along here um, and then the white ones I'm going to put on the inside. So these are the, the, the frame of the door, this I need to stick to the back wall. Um, oh and I've cut a little slit here because I kind of want to make this window open because I saw someone do this in um, a video where they made the same greenhouse and I thought it looked really cute so I'm going to have it open like that. This took me so long. <laughs> especially these sticks because I don't know if you can tell but I kind of added texture to the sticks. Anyway, I'm going to get constructing all this now. I'm going to have to do a lot of measuring to make sure all these sticks fit. Okay, so moving on to Friday now and we're getting to the final stretch of finishing this greenhouse. I had painted everything and all I had to do now was stick everything together. Sounds simple but it took me so, so, took me so long. I did this over the course of two days. I started on Friday and finished um, late on a Saturday night. I stayed up until 3 o'clock, I think I mentioned that before, to get this done and the only reason I stopped is because I ran out of glue um, and it's probably a good thing that I ran out of glue because it means I got some sleep that night. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'd set myself such a big task and I don't know why I was putting so much pressure on getting this greenhouse finished. I reckon if I wasn't filming it I, I wouldn't have minded so much. I just really wanted to get it finished for you guys to see just because now it's going to be like months and months until I can actually properly finish it and obviously you guys don't really care. You you'll see it when you see it. You're very nice people. Um, but yeah, this was just me putting pressure on myself for no real reason. Um, but I'd, honestly, I really did enjoy making this greenhouse, especially in the beginning. It was so nice to just do something creative that wasn't my usual illustration. And if you do want to see a bit more painting, watch any of my other videos because they are absolutely jam-packed with art, which isn't, you know, miniature stuff. And like model making, if you're more just into painting and drawing, um, any of my other videos, I'm sure you'll enjoy. But yeah, it was just nice to do something a bit different. And if you haven't watched last week's video and you want to see more of like the building of the furniture, um, all, all that process is over in last week's video, um, which I'm sure you'll enjoy if you've enjoyed this. This greenhouse was a big task. If I would have known what I know now, it would have been a lot quicker. Basically, I was using the wrong glue and it, nothing was really sticking properly to the plastic. And it sticks a lot better if you scrape the plastic first which is just, I don't know, a scrapey thing. It, everything stuck a lot better, but I didn't know that until I'd already done a lot of it. There's a lot of trial and error with this. Here's what I've managed to get done. Obviously, all the interiors and all the outside. Um, I would like to add a lot more, like, leaves and moss and general grubbiness to the outside of the greenhouse, but I ran out of glue, so I couldn't do that. Uh, that'll be, have to be something that I do in the future. So just imagine for now that the furniture is inside the greenhouse, but hopefully that's going to look really cute once I finally put it all inside. Um, I did do a little quick test trying to squidge it inside, but I was really scared I was going to break something and I didn't want to risk it because I didn't have glue and I hadn't properly finished everything.
And then I was back at university. This was filmed quite a few days after the clip she just saw. Uh, I think maybe three or four days had passed. Uh, but I just thought I'd finish this video with a little bit of drawing for my new project. So I just, uh, I was at the thumbnailing stage, which is just where you have to sketch out a bunch of ideas. Um, I've since created the final piece for this and I'm, I've moved on to a new project now. Yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to show you a little, just a little bit of drawing because I was really worried that uh, there was just a lot of model making and a lot of drawing. So I just thought I'd slip a little bit in at the end um, and just have a little chat with you guys just about university and my plans so I would like to continue making videos like I said before um, but it is very dependent on how much work I get done last term or last module it it kind of worked out that I was filming a project as a whole and then posting a video about it or maybe just filling in like the final piece so it might be that um, you'll, there'll only be a video like every three weeks obviously I'd like to do more than that but it's hard when when there's so much work to do. So if I don't make a video in a few weeks, you know that I'm just working hard on uni work and I probably do have a video in the making. You know, I've, I've not dropped off the face of the earth and my Instagram is always updated with everything that I'm up to. Um, I'll just pop up on screen actually the final piece that I made for this project just because it would be nice for you to see. But these are all the thumbnails that I did for it. This is what you draw, like this is the start of stuff you do right at the beginning of a project. It's uh, nice that you made it to the end of the video because not a lot of people stick around all the way to the end. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you soon.